Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize, I picked the wrong spot for uh, filming, but we are going to go thrifting. And before you say, girlfriend, I thought you said you are up to your eyeballs in inventory. If you are like me and you have no business thrifting, but that is like your joy set goals for yourself. I listed 20 brand new items yesterday. You know, I relist every day using Posture VA, but I also relisted 20 items this morning on Kitizen, which is not as easy as it is on Poshmark. You actually have to go through as if it was a, a you were cross listing it, but I just use list perfectly to cross list it back to Kitizen. So anyway, I am pushing myself to do 10 to 20 of those every morning. So I feel super accomplished. I put away all of the inventory that I listed yesterday. So I gave myself those goals. So here I am. So rules though, there are rules for today. I am only allowing myself three pieces that fall in the bread and butter, bread and butter, like $20 or less range. And now it has to be something that's going to flip fast play shoes, native shoes, um, just things that I know I'm not going to hold on to. So the goal, anything else I pick up, I have to check comps and I have to be able to show you guys comps of this item selling for $30 or more. So those are the goals for today. So let's go see what we can find. I always started the shoes and check this out. Insanely worn Crocs, $15. And that's sort of their average price right now. It's crazy. I left behind so many things I hope you watched to the end. I know this is a long video, but I end up taking you guys to the bins because I was just, this was a great reminder of how expensive the retail Goodwill stores have gotten. I found almost this exact pair, spoiler, at the bins. Is your Goodwill like this? It's crazy. I definitely did find some gems to look up prices. This style of Lucky Brand I have sold before. But $25, I didn't bother checking comps because those usually sell for around the $35 mark. Some free peoples, obviously the person pricing didn't know. They should have marked those up as well. We'll talk more about those later. I was quite discouraged after checking the shoes. I decided to head over to the blazers and jackets. You guys know I am on the hunt for that Veronica Beard blazer. I will find one. Spoiler, didn't find it today, but I'm just kind of showing you guys the prices. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. 15 bucks. Footjoy is a great golf brand, but man, $8.99 for Old Navy. There was absolutely nothing worth flipping. There were a few pieces I would have picked up had we been at the bins, but we were not. Here are the items I ended up putting back. I did check comps. These Keens were $12.99. They were only flipping for about $30. This was a really great Converse collab. They only wanted $8, but they needed a lot of cleanup and time is money. So I decided to put those back and left with one thing. All right, I'm gonna do this part while I'm driving. Look, both hands. Oh my gosh, you guys. Side note. Um, <laughs> I started to record this in the parking lot of the Goodwill in which I left. And you know, I am always cautious of my surroundings. That Goodwill is not in a good part of town. A lot of places in Orlando are not good parts of town, especially the two bins. I know a lot of people ask me about going to the bins here. It's not a good part of town. Anyway, um, when I got to my car, as soon as I get in, I lock the door. I do check my surroundings and I was about to record a clip and I literally had just put the phone up and someone's knocking on my window. It's a woman who, okay, side note for those that don't know, I was a police officer here in Orlando for a short period of time, many moons ago. And um, I worked that part of town and this woman, she did not need help. She could have gone inside the Goodwill and used a phone if there was an emergency. But I just like said, sorry. And I drove away and left the parking lot. And then I was at the stoplight to leave the area. And she knocked on my window again. I saw her knocking on all the windows of the cars. I'm like, oh my gosh. So super disappointing. That used to be my favorite Goodwill for years. I mean, I'm talking like when I used to just shop for my kids and not really was into reselling. The prices, 
they're insane. I probably checked comps on 20 items. I was in there for an hour and 15 minutes and I just got super discouraged. I left with one pair of shoes. Those free people mules comps were between 25 and 45. So I was willing to pay $9.99 for them and got up to the register and I had a $5 off coupon. The way our Goodwills work here, there's a loyalty card. If you don't have it and you live in Central Florida, I know it's all of the Central Florida stores participate. You get points per dollar. I don't know how much. All I know is that I spend a lot of money at Goodwill and every now and then I get $5 off. You can say no, save it. I've gotten random amounts. It's not always an even amount. Anyway, so I paid $5.34 for those shoes. And I'm like, I'm not ready to go home, but it's Wednesday, of course, it's early day. Michael's out doing something. So I was 12 minutes, it didn't account for this light, which now I know this light takes forever. So from that Goodwill to the Goodwill outlet is 12 minutes. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself one hour. It is, what time is it? Sorry, I'm sure my blinker is annoying. 11.02, which means there's not gonna be any carts because this one opens at 8.30 or nine but I'm gonna grab a reusable bag from my trunk, go in here and try to find 10 items in an hour. <laughs> so that's where we're at. So just a reminder to you, be diligent about your safety, whether you're a man, woman, I don't care how old you are. Um, always check your surroundings. Probably not the best idea to record videos sitting in parking lots. Um, so just always keep your head out of your phone in the parking lots. I'm never looking at my phone. I always have one free hand, so anyway i felt the need to put that that psa out there all right here's my ikea bag i had to park in a parking lot across the street so this isn't a good sign all right i will meet you guys back here in a little bit i know this is sideways but you guys this was such an amazing find you will see it in the hall at the end of the video so make sure you stick around but i cannot believe i found this in a picked over bin yes lululemon it's amazing okay so it turned out I was rushing. I was down to my one hour mark and had a bag full of amazing treasures. Here's what I do at the bins. I go where everyone else is not. So I started in like the bags and belts and like random items and I actually found some pretty great stuff. Then my husband texted me and said, hey, I'm done with what I need to get done. I'm out of breath because I had to walk with all this crap I bought far. <laughs> so I ended up staying for five hours and I don't know about you, but I feel like time just like, I don't know how it goes by so fast at the bins. I ended up, I don't know how many pounds I got. I'll show you in the haul, but I spent $72 and we pay $1.89. And you guys, I got some incredible shoes and I was the only one looking through them. They had already been picked over, like so far picked over that there was hardly any of them left, but I still managed to score two pairs of Birkenstocks, a pair of Sorel boots, like crazy. So I didn't wait in any foolish lines. I ended up getting a cart. I also learned it's four o'clock now. If I ever come in the late afternoon, there were tons of carts. When I first got there, I did not have one. Ended up finding one later on. So I can't wait to show you what I got. And I really had no business getting this much inventory. But during those five hours, I had some pretty great ideas for some videos for and plans, business plans for this year. So I'm excited and I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys. It's like the same day that I just got back from the bins. That never happens. It is the same day. It is the same day. So that's why I'm like disheveled. And I was just commenting. Your hair is just as disheveled as mine. You just oh, messed my hair no, up. No, I just made it look amazing. <laughs> hey guys, look who I picked up along the way. So... You picked me up. I did. I picked you up in my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to the bins by myself for the first time ever. I'm I mean, sure I didn't actually put that together. Yeah, like you've dropped me off and like run errands in the area before, but like I physically had to drive myself there. Yes. So. Uh, Wasn't that bad, right? You lived. Um, I had to carry all this crap that you just carried in to the parking but lot did across you the die? way. I didn't, but somebody at the, at the Goodwill parking lot was like knocking on my window. It was a whole situation. Where's Not the, that parking lot. The what's other. the story? Oh, I already kind of mentioned to them, so I'll. Oh, all right. This is. You can fill me in I'll later. fill you in later. Here is the one pair of shoes you guys already saw. I was highly disappointed in my favorite Goodwill. The prices have gone insane, literally insane. I was in- They're the, proud. They are real proud. So I was in there for over an hour and walked out with one pair of shoes. They were $9.99, but I had a um, $5 off coupon because I get points. So I paid $5.34 for these. 
And I'm like, you know what? It was a nine minute drive to the bins and the prices were so crazy. I, I was looking around, people didn't have a lot in their carts. The, the clothing, like I tried to look through two different racks of dresses and like the, the hangers were like, you could, there was no room. Oh, it's cramped. I couldn't even oh, look. Oh, I hate when I can't slide. And I'm like, you know what? All this crap is gonna be at the bins because like it's no one's sell. paying the prices that the stores are overflowing. So I went to the bins. I thought I only had an hour. Let's start with this bag. So I would say I got everything in this bag in the first hour Can I was there. That or yeah. Um, Sorry. Memento. He wanted to see what I got. So I'm like, why don't you be in the video with me? And so getting two things done at once. Careful. Um, so this is, All I would right. say this was one hour's worth of work. And then I really took my time. I ended up being there for five hours since this guy was so nice. He's like, just stay. I thought I was gonna have to get the kids from school early day, all that, but it ended up working out. So let's dig in. I'm just gonna hold so I briefly mentioned after I got in the car, I didn't wait in, like there was a lot of people there per usual, but I didn't wait in any of the lines and go to any of the new bins. So this was all from picked over bins. The shoes, there was nobody there. I mean, let's say there was, 80 people in the place. I don't know how many there were. There were two looking at the shoes when I was. So, all right, kicking it off with a pair of Birkenstocks. Yes, there's toe prints. There always will be toe prints, but I can still read the size and the bottoms look great. And I like cleaning shoes. So I was really happy. I mean, honestly, like the regular Goodwill would have had these part marked at like $12.99. So I already was like, I'm winning. We pay a dollar. Oh, stay till the end because I'm gonna cut after I show you the haul and I will let you know how many items I got and what I ended up paying per piece. So we pay $1.89 per pound. I was very excited to find these. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know many Melissa's are the brand and the thing that got me back into reselling after selling on eBay helped me pay for college back in the early 2000s. So how cute and they're in perfect condition. Yeah, those look good. So I, I almost took footage and I did That's didn't... like 10 bucks at our well, no, in the Goodwill, there were three pairs of mini Melissa's, but they were beat up. The little um, ones with seashells with the water in it that I love, mm -hmm. and then another pair. And what they want for them? $9.99 and $12.99. I said $10. bucks. 9 dollars and $12.99, and I found a pair even better conditioned than all three pairs that were in the regular Goodwill from the bins. So honestly, today for just like a dollar. solidified. So I have a new, while, while I have you, here's what I'm going to be doing well, since, captive. since we're new into the year. I'm going to start another spreadsheet, but my kind of spreadsheet, not his, where I'm going to hand write, just like my lovely daughter, how she makes lists like That's not a like spreadsheet. <laughs> For me. That's chicken scratch. I'm going to write, um, every time I go to the bins, what I spent. There are going to be a few items in this bag that I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to put them to the side that I'm going to be filling up a bin of kid stuff I find at the bins. I'm not going to count those items in my overall number, so they're not going to be counted towards my cost of goods which means it'll essentially make everything a little bit more expensive, right, if that yes. makes sense. So when that bin gets full, I'll do a haul for you. We'll go to Once Upon a Child and I'm going to subtract that from what I've spent at the bins this year. So I'm gonna, gonna have that running at the same time. It's probably gonna take me several bins trips. And by the time you're seeing this video, all of these items will be listed. I'm not allowed to go back to the bins until these items are listed. So that is my challenge for this year. Maybe I'll get to go once a week, that is my ultimate goal is to get rid of the death pile I have in my house and like be able to go to the bins one day a week, spend the whole day there, like a normal nine to five job. And, um, but real, so, realistically, maybe it'll be every other week, but I just wanted to share with you guys my goal. Okay. So these are Columbia PFG slip on women's shoes, size nine and a half. I don't know if they're supposed to be white or like a off white. I don't know, but they're going to get soaked in OxyClean. I have several other pieces here and in my laundry room already waiting to be soaked. But honestly, like they're nice. They were just rubber banded really tightly together and I don't pay for the rubber band weight. I leave all those behind. So I was excited to find those. Don't pay the pennies. Um, I do, I've mentioned before, this is a Johnston and Murphy um, bag. I do just keep a stack of these for when I have some higher end items. This I saw across the way. I wanted it for two reasons. I knew with just looking at this that this was Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse this is a Disney Parks official oh, merch, yeah. which it is. There's a Disney Parks tag in there. But you guys, really why I wanted this was for this little ring right here. <laughs> you bought it because of that. Okay. This weighs nothing. But if you notice, I'm not wearing a wedding ring right now. My hands have been really swollen lately. And I used to have these rings when I was a kid. This was like all the rage. Do you remember? No. Or was it a girl thing only? Okay. I'm an I 80s baby. And so I really wanted that. Yes, I could have just gotten in a gumball machine. But anyway, 
Um, this is a Disney Parks little wristlet. It's in great condition. It'll sell for a couple bucks. Goodwill wanted $1.99. If there's a price tag on these things, I'll show you. This is like the official magic eraser, makeup eraser. I already own two of these. I love them. Is it the same brand even? Yes. Yeah. You might think it's gross to give us at the bins, but I'm going to bleach it along with some other things, which I don't care if it gets bleach spots because these live in my shower. And so, so that's personal. Go. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. All right. But we're still going to count it. Okay. I found a Disney and Aiden and Anais collab um, little baby blanket. I have a couple of these I need to list together. This, I thought it, this was really cute. It's an apron. It was a new with the tags apron. Um, I've sold aprons before and I just thought some flowers were cute and it was new. And Goodwill wanted $1.99. Shocking, actually. This That's is also lovely. for personal. We have one of those little oh, yeah. flags out there. Um, so, uh, like it's not a, a garden, it's not a shepherd hope, garden but, flag holder. Yeah. yeah. So, it's is that the next holiday? I guess not quite yet. Yeah, I mean, so, you could say Valentine's Day. When I thought I only had an hour, I started, I did the bags and purses, and I would have been totally fine with just what I'm showing you guys. Like, I breezed through the shoes the first time around, I kept it separate, and I found just those three <laughs> pairs and then the rest of the stuff. So, keep that in mind. Like, if you only had an hour, I found all of these items. This is a fossil belt with some really cute little leather embellishments. Great condition. They wanted $2.99 and it's a size medium. So has a size, it's a name brand, doesn't weigh much. I was happy to find that. Oh, do you know what this is? I don't know what this is. It looks like a neoprene strap. I don't know if that was supposed to go for something else of mine. I guess we'll see. Do you recognize this? I do, but I can't think of the name. Ergo Baby. Yes. So this is the um, the newborn yeah, that's insert pillow and pillow. Your Raising sister's out front riding her bikes. Could you go out the garage, please? Okay. Um, this goes inside your Ergo baby carrier when you have a teeny tiny one to lift them up. So it doesn't weigh much, but I knew I needed one of these. So somebody out there. You gonna sell our Ergo you finally? To... Nope. Why not? I don't know. Maybe you can I'll sell start... it with that. I don't know. This is so cute. This is the first thing I found. And I'm like, oh, something's new with the tags. And I even I don't know what it is yet. opened the zipper and it indeed still has the tag attached. And then I read it, Ordo Canis. Canis. And I'm like, what? Dog? Keep dogs on the walk. You guys, this is a knee brace for a dog for their... I mean... Like, right knee. Dogs get injuries. Yes. And here's the thing. I like, I looked this up and on Amazon, these are $50 and higher and they have a great sell through rate on eBay, which that is also, you know, trying to li list some things there, but yeah, so these okay. are selling and this way is oh, a dog knee brace, a doggy knee brace, new okay. in the original packaging. I mean, you never know what you're going to find at the bins and it does force you. It's an easy way to buy things outside of your comfort zone because I mean, this is less than a pound, which means. Like I paid less yeah. than a dollar eighty nine. Low, so, low risk, high reward. I did get a lot of shoes, so my cost of goods is probably going to be quite high for this haul, though, compared to other times where I focused mostly on clothes. But, the bag was heavy when I picked it up. Yeah, except like um, that too, leather bags. Yeah, but you guys, like I said, these bins were already picked over. But this is why I don't wear gloves, um, because as soon as I felt this, I knew it was quality. Ooh, it's let me see. Okay. It's fossil. It's in perfect condition inside and out. I'm going to speed this up a little. I found one glove, O'Neal. I'm like, oh, this is a nice ski glove, winter glove, some kind of outdoor sports. And I'm like, let me see if I find the other one. Like maybe two hours later, I found the other one randomly in another bin. <laughs> so I have both of them. They are a uh, size large, extra large. They're in really great shape. What are these for? Do you know? I'd say they're snowboarding gloves, snowboarding. skiing slash snowboarding, yeah. I mean, again, they weigh nothing. I feel like they, they have to be worth something. I did give myself a couple projects. So my daughter oh, went to her grandparents' house to stay the night, and she was looking for her. She's like, where's my suitcase? Okay, my, in the attic. my daughters are now seven and nine, and the suitcases she's referring to are like those little kid you know, she has an Anna and Elsa, and there's a Finding Nemo. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've had these since they were, like, two and four. So, I'm like, it's about time she gets a big kid. I think younger than that, because didn't we take them to, to Ireland? Oh, maybe. So, like, six months and I don't two know. and a half, basically. So, I found this really nice Jansport. 
duffel bag. Now I've had some surface areas, but I have soaked Jansport backpacks in OxyClean. That's the good. only, yes, the only thing I will take off is um, this is detachable only because I would, I'm worried about that part, but this isn't really that stained. And honestly, like it's not stained enough that maybe I even need to do that. And honestly, I might just toss this in the washing machine, but I thought, I mean, their backpacks go for a lot. So yes, I could probably sell this, but I do, I do think I got that to keep. Um, okay, so, oh, this one last, these last two things were in my first hour. This was probably the find of the day. Uh, I felt it, I'm like, ooh, that feels like nice leather. Um, it is a little dirty and it's it's definitely way more mustardy than it's coming across, right? Like I would say it's it's I mean it's yellow. It, it looks like like a lime, like a volt yellow, right? That's what Nike calls it. So it is yeah, Proenza Schuler. I don't know if I said that right. I Never think heard so. Of her. It's a designer. Alright. I mean it's a little dirty, but overall these um like if this was new, that they are going for like two hundred bucks. Okay. So I don't know what I'll get for it. I definitely need to clean it up, but I mean, awesome. And then this same thing, like I felt this. Yes. And it felt that. like really nice leather. And you know, Quality. it kind of has gives me like Rebecca Minkoff vibes with this fringe, very boho. And you know, it's a little worn, but honestly not really. And the inside said cut and paste Los Angeles. So Unfortunately, the service is terrible in this particular bins. I went to the, the bins in Orlando and um, I like got near the door and I all I could see on, Posh, on Poshmark was like a couple solds that were in the 50s to 100s of this brand. So I'm like, you know what? That was good. It's all leather. It's fine. Like, yeah. Have, have you looked it up more since? No, oh, okay. I haven't. But I, like I said, I'm not allowed. I thought you were about to like drop a bomb. No, like, I'm not allowed to make this go live until all of these things are listed. So okay. all my closets are listed down below. I do post everything to Kittizen first and then push it to Poshmark. So, um, yeah. So all right. that those were what I got in one hour. And honestly, I would have been thrilled to leave. So the rest of this and that bag were from the rest of the time? Yeah. So four okay. more hours. I was there. All right. All right. So these sho the shoes were the last thing I hit before I left. So I actually wanted to see if you wanted these. I knew it. <laughs> she <laughs> cannot go shopping, thrifting, anything without This is the only thing, something. I'm pretty sure. So these are Crocs. Um, I'm thankful, people. I really am. I just, I don't want things. They're a men's size 11, but here's the thing. He wears stuff out. Like, he, you have this exact one, and he is a Boy Scout leader, and he wore, a, like, a... Like, it looked like he could wiggle his big toe and it would I come out. Them. No. So if these are the same size and the same style, please throw the other ones away. I didn't pay full price. They came from the bins. Otherwise, these are a men's size 11 and they'll be listed, but. All right, we'll see. Okay. I mean, you guys, when I said, like, I felt disgusting when I left there, like my hands, because I dug oh, through these shoes. Gross. Like, yeah, they can feel all that yeah. stuff. Like, it but, like there's like a film on your hands. Yes, and like all the like fake leather shoes that are everywhere. So these are Reef, and they're actually really cute style. They're women's size 10. Yeah. And are they worn? They're like maybe ones. Yeah, they look So good. underneath several pairs of Gross, I found, found those. those. Yeah. These, Goodwill wanted $10.99. And they're, look how dirty. They're Sorrells, yes. But I would never have paid ten ninety nine. I mean, they are worn. They are not in great shape. But you know what? I, because I got them in the bins, I'm going to probably try to throw them in the washer because you paid there's... Like three bucks for them, probably. Right. They are only a U.S. size 5, so they're tiny. But I wasn't going to leave them behind because other than some surface stains and cosmetic wear. Yeah. Okay. They're not the typical... Like rubber. Anyway, yeah. So these have been picked over probably all day. I don't. They they did a lot of rotations while I was there. They never moved the shoes. So okay. these um, were hiding under. I hands. thought I'm like, ooh, look at those gross shoes. But I, they're actually supposed to be that color, right? Yeah, that's they call it just a gum. And this. That yeah. Yeah. It looks. Like I it. thought from far away. I thought they were supposed to be white, but they're not. They're like a canvasy color. These are um, Reebok CrossFits. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll say like. I, I, I believe they're called the Nano. They are. I saw Nano written on here. Yeah. Actually. So like I, I Rope showed you Pro. the Nikes I have. Yeah. Um, this is their the Reebok version. They wanted $12.99 also. These are a size 8. Women's or men's? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But 
Anyway. They're, you, CrossFit shoes are usually pretty unisex. That's something I would have listened. Um, oh, these are for personal use. I got some beat up natives, but these weigh literally nothing. They're my daughter's size and she's been wearing her nice ones. They've been bike riding all the time. Um, so I'm gonna make her wear these to ride her bike instead of her nice ones. So another pair of Birkenstocks. I thought these were really cool. I don't know the name of them yet, but again, yes, they show some wear. Um, I'll probably take the time to clean them up a little bit, but I wasn't gonna leave perfectly good Birkenstocks. Now they, they're worn down a bit, but if the cork had been messed up, which there was one or two other pairs that had actual damage. These, there's a difference between damage and wear. Okay, you can toss that. These, randomly, didn't even look them up. They're a pair of North Face little gloves with Polar Tech. They were hooked together. They're a size extra small. And I think it said, yeah, unisex extra small. So I actually might see if my son wants these for when they go camping. Supposed to be in the 30s again this weekend. I know. So but we're not camping this weekend. You know, it's rare that we find this kind of stuff here in Florida. Yeah, what the heck? It's been, we get this. It's been hot again. We have like two days of winter. Can I open this one up? I mean, up? maybe not. It's no. a bit bigger than the first bag. Okay, so. Maybe when you get deeper into it. Yeah. Um, the first pile, I hit one bin that was filled with White House Black Market. Part of me almost got a bunch of it to send in to thread up. But I'm like, you know what? That's not the experiment today. But I just cleaned out my personal closet the other night with my mom. I love White House Black Market. I've said that before. The resale value, like on Poshmark and stuff, is not there. Um, even taking it to buy, sell, trade, you don't, you're not going to get a lot. But ThreadUp does buy it, and I have a lot of it that I paid full price for. I'm a lot of it, but I am not the same size that I was eight years ago. So I got a couple pieces to replace stuff I have in my closet. And I'm going to send those things to ThreadUp. So you need to take me out because I need to wear these. These are the jogger from White House Black Market. They look take you out to the gym. No, they're these are dressy. They're like silky material, oh, they're kind of satin. but they're stretchy waist. Which you is, said jogger, so I'm thinking. Well, like, they're called the exercise. jogger. Like they're they're really cute. Like right. so cute. But I'll show you what I'm gonna wear them with. So I am oh, keeping. You bought something these. else to go with them. Yes, I just said that I'm going to replace a couple of my. I like to wear. I the, didn't realize that you are telling me right now. Yes, you I like to put wear the whole outfit. The blazers from the bins. Uh, this, this is why it pays to look in, like dig all the way to the bottom of the bins. I'm telling you, it was a workout. Some of these, mm. they, like if this was the bin, the clothes are like this high. Okay, off camera. <laughs> um. Anyway, this is the brand Pink Chicken. Pink Chicken, which is a very expensive little kids brand. Um, and they're just swimsuit bottoms, but these will sell for sure. So if you ever see that brand, remember Pink Chicken, uh, especially their dresses, they sell very well. Okay. The only other bathing suit I bought, this was on the floor underneath bins that had already been gone through. So there was nobody over there anymore. It is a miracle suit, which these go for That's like good one of money. Swimming companies. Yeah, it is a women's size 16. So of course I'm gonna. I always wash all the stuff from the bins because um, it does have a couple of surface marks from being on the floor, but there is literally no wear on it. Like, mm. so some people are weirded out by buying used swimwear, but I'm gonna wash it same as I would wash leggings and stuff. So anyway, I was excited to find that brand. All right. This is something I would have checked comps on if my phone was working in there, but it wasn't. It's old label cabby, but it didn't, it didn't have this, the style tag was cut out. It's white, but not all cabby is created equal. It has a really cute yeah, crisscross open back. You know, I paid Ben's prices. Goodwill wanted $8.99. That's our typical price now for a blouse. So you see, that's why, that's why it made it there. So um, I am going to wash it and I don't know. Some cabby stuff shocks me. So I'm not even going to guess what that's going to go for. This is pretty full. This video might end up a little long. Yes. This is Moth. Okay, it's very full. Which is a, I don't know if it's always sold at Anthropology, but this is, I, th I just thought this was cute. It's got little it's butterflies. A doily, a doily shirt? Yes. That's what it looks like. Um, I have a really hard time leaving anything new with tags behind. But this right here, this is one of the first clothing things I found, and I'm like, this is my sign that this is where I need to be shopping. This is just August silk, which most of their stuff isn't silk. It is sold at Macy's. They wanted, Goodwill wanted $19.99 for this 
sweater. Now the suggested retail was 68 bucks and it was purchased at Macy's, but seriously, who's gonna pay 19.99 for this at the Goodwill? I mean, who's paying the 68 bucks for it at the Macy's? Nobody, Macy's is like Kohl's, there's always coupons. <laughs> okay, this, I looked and looked and looked, so I'm hoping you will find this listed um, for a whole because it is vintage Talbot. Look at that tag. Size medium and it's 57% um, wool. So I just thought it was really cool. I can tell that it's been washed properly. Got something else for me? Sure. This is a good find. I'm sad that there's not the Goodwill price on here because they were probably $19.99. pair of Can Can jeans. So I'm actually going to try these on because it's, they're a size 30, which that's the size that I'm currently wearing in Gap. They're a little big, but I like them that way. So I don't know. But otherwise, that is a decent, ooh, it's dusty. Okay, so at the moment I'm doing this, I have not checked comps, but I, this is probably the, the score I'm most excited about because I was on this side of the bin. There was two, I call them young boys. They were probably, mid 20s but that's young for me and they obviously are ebay sellers and i'm not sure what they were looking for like the guy kept showing the other guy something no um i, I don't sell women's stuff or whatever anyway i heard the guy they had already been where i where i was i watched them they were like down from me and then they made the anyway they'd already been in the bin i was in with my point i heard the guy say you know i haven't found any lululemon in a while and he was like yeah, I guess I haven't either. Maybe we'll find some today. It was literally like 30 seconds later, I felt something and I'm like, ooh, that feels nice. Like you just get to know the feeling of things. And I'm like, what is this? It was like this. So it looked, I'm like, oh, it's a blazer. I don't want a blazer. But then I'm like, I don't know. This feels really nice. And then I saw a zipper and I saw the Lululemon emblem. And then I turned it over. This does need washed, but here it is on the back. And I was like, yes. So it is inside the pocket was a, a says size medium. And there is it, let's see. The audience is waiting. What is this thing? It's a jacket. It's a size medium, which means I'm pretty sure that means it's a men's item. Sorry. It's a jacket. Okay. But it looks like a blazer, like, right? But it's a nice it just looks like a nice jacket right but you could wear this as a nice jacket like a career jacket i feel like i don't know i'm gonna find the actual name of it and it's beautiful and perfect and yeah that was my so moral story. stories they were looking for lulu they passed over this yeah and i found it did you say hey i did not i found it and Look what I, I found boys stuck it in my ikea bag hey, young boys because at that time i didn't have a um, lulu I didn't have a cart yet, so I just have my Ikea bag, so I like slid it in there underneath. They can't take it from you. I know. All right, this is the it. brand Soul. I did not look this up because, again, I couldn't, but they wanted $6.99. I just thought this was really cute. It's a like a, I think it's a beach cover-up. It's got these really cute little, what are those shells called? Puka? I don't know. I don't think so. I think so. That's what those necklaces were always made of. It's 100% cotton. There's a website, InMySoul.com. But I just really liked the color. I think it's from one of those gift shops at when you're on a cruise ship. Oh. oh, so these, I did, I attempted to look up a few things. And if I was like right near the door, I could. So it seems that these are selling. The brand is um, Milliken. Seems like it's um, military stuff. I don't know how old this is, but they call these drawers. <laughs> so they're underwear, cold weather. Base layer. Gen 3, size large. Um, yeah, but they were new with a tag. Whoa, in the face. Sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, looked like they were selling around at least 20 bucks, so. Okay. This, I tried and tried to get my phone to work at this point, but it was saying no. I looked at this piece for so long no before I decided to get it. So, it's this, it looks a little funky on screen. However, it is a hundred percent wool and the scarf part is a hundred percent silk is and I removable? couldn't find anything wrong with it um where's it attached I was curious I don't I don't know no it's attached okay 
Um, it is a size extra small. All I could, I did take a photo of this and I put it through Google Lens and it kept telling me connection timeout, connection timeout. It finally worked and I could see just the first thing and it said rare anthropology and it was just a picture of this tag. So I don't know, I will know, but I just thought this was a really unique piece. So I picked it up. This was a cool find. I love Simply Southern. You probably see me wearing it often, but this one is new with the tag, size extra large, and was just chilling in a picked over bin right on top. It's on the back. Oh, happy camper. It was laying just like this where I could see that it had the size extra large, like that. I knew it was new. I'm like, oh, well, maybe there's big stains all over it since it's white. Nope. nope. So, this Surprising. is- Surprising. I'm probably gonna list it though, even though I love Simply Southern. I don't like hoods. I don't like things like on my neck and so. Probably going to list that. Oh, that is going. Oh, the first piece of kids' items, see that. kids' clothes. Okay, this was the first piece of White House Black Market I found in a different bin. I just thought this was really cool. It's a size 12, and all of my blazers that I have are like eights and tens, and they're just fitting a little snug. So those are the ones I'm gonna send in. I like to wear these like for date night and stuff, like with jeans over a dress. Not necessarily this this style, the shorter ones over dresses. So. Anyway, it's in perfect condition, so that was cool. This is just a Columbia Windbreaker, women's size large, no brainer, it weighs nothing. I already have that exact one or else I will keep it. How cool is this one? You guys, this one looks brand new. This one is a size cool. medium. It's cool. Camouflage. I knew you'd like this one. So My this with the joggers. Oh. Yeah, and a tank top, unbuttoned, and have this unzipped with a some some natives with no socks. Hey, hey. so trendy. So sorry about our dog <laughs> coughing. <laughs> like has a hairball. Yeah. So anyway, up, this is so cute. I love it. Love it. This was unfortunately was White House White House Black Market. Okay. I don't know what the, what these are selling for. I'm not gonna look, but if I had to guess, maybe twenty bucks, if that. But this jacket probably costs like a hundred and sixty-eight new. There you go. Look at you. Oh, look what I found. Some Boy Scouts of America official girls shorts, size 10. Um, it's undecided if our girls, long story, our son moved on to Boy Scouts. He was the Cub Scout leader in which the girls also did Cub Scouts. They have since quit. Now they're kind of wanting back in. So I don't know. I might hang on to these. Otherwise, um, if you ever come across official Boy Scout stuff, pick it up because it's not cheap. Right. It's for my own daughter. I, I try to buy them. Primary is a great kids brand. Um, basics, this is just under dress shorts. These are um, all in motion, which I love for myself and my kids. A pair of shorts for my kid. Um, oh, my youngest daughter already has this sweater. So you know I had to get her big sister the same one. Um, it's from H&M. How cute is this? Um, now, if this wasn't my kid's size, I would have gotten it anyway because it's in great condition and this is something perfect for once upon a child. Here, oh, there's two more. This is another, this one's size 12. I haven't tried them on. It might be a little big, but we'll see. But I love this jacket also. White House Black Market, same style. And while I'm talking about it, might as well show this one, the final one. This one's a size eight. So again, I've got to try them on, but they're like in perfect condition. I don't, I know that the, the outlets sometimes put out raw donations because they just have a surplus. So these might not have even made it to the stores because they didn't have pricing on them um, or they did and they asked, they wanted like 30 bucks for them. All right, I did get these to sell. Goodwill wanted $6.99. They are um, Livy, right? Which is uh, size 1820. The Lane Bryant, right? Yeah, uh, active wear brand. I just thought these were really cool little workout pants, which right now get your workout stuff listed. These, you want some wool underoos? Doesn't that sound awful? <laughs> these are new with the tag. No thanks. Um, Woolex, they are 85% merino wool, 12% nylon, and 3% spandex. I don't know, but I thought they might be worth something because they were new with tags, but they don't feel like wool. They do feel thick though. Yeah. This uh, is the brand Wonderly, never heard of it, um, but it was sold at Belk, 
They wanted $59. My Goodwill wanted $9.99. I actually got this to maybe try on for myself. Like I said, I'm doing a huge closet clean out, getting rid of the things that don't fit me or the various piles of, oh, when I lose five pounds, this stuff will fit me. Oh, when I lose 10 pounds, this stuff will fit me. No, if I lose 10 pounds, I'm gonna buy myself new stuff at the bins. So I need to just get rid of it all. So anyway, I'm gonna try this on. I just like it, t-shirt dress. And if it is, I don't like how it looks, I'll list it. And these poor boys, the same bins, I watched them already dig through. I knew as soon as I felt these, now these are not in the greatest condition. And I did see them. Oh, I like, oh, I know what that means. These, I can tell they're like, I've got some of these to list right now. It's the, I don't know the name of the material. I love Lulu, but I'm not a fanatic where I know all the things. I didn't know I listed a dress yesterday that was Nulu fabric, but this is the kind that like, I feel like it gets static. Yeah, I have one pair like that. Yeah. My ABC um, pants. But they appear to be in pretty great condition. They are a men's size small. I'm almost 99% sure. Yeah. They do have the style. You can't see that. Um, so I figured Michael could try them on if you wanted. But I just like cleaned out my pants. Yeah, but you could get rid of one more. We could trade if you like these. Cause these are quality, um, oh, there's the logo. But I do, if you don't wanna keep them, I do. This is a great project for my mom. It needs a little sweater shave and a, I'm gonna wash them and it's going to need a lint roll. So that was a great find. So like just those two Lulu pieces are probably gonna cover this entire haul. So yay. This, as soon as I saw the print, I'm like, oh, that's mini Bowden, I knew it. But for some reason, um, the mini Bowden tag, oh, here it is, I couldn't, I couldn't, in that lighting in there, I couldn't see it. So this is Bowdoin, pretty sure it's new without tag, because yeah, it has this, um, it is size 5'6", I, I couldn't see that in the lighting in there. It's just a really cute little turtleneck, but even if I wasn't... Okay, we need to pause real quick. Little miss. Oh, okay, get ready I need you and your sister to get changed, please. This is from March of 2021. Please go, please go get changed. Thank you. It's musical theater dance night. Is it time to go yet? Yeah, you have 15 minutes. Okay, but I heard we're, we'll, we'll be good. Anyway, um, I was going to just keep this. Shh. I was gonna keep this, but my I think my daughters might think I lost my mind if I try to get them to wear a turtleneck. So now that I know it officially does have the size, I really, I don't know what the, uh, I can see it perfect. The lighting in there, it's a little odd. Okay, this is cut from the cloth, 100% linen shorts. This, I don't buy a lot of Nike. Yes, I know it sells, but this one, it was like in brand new condition, size medium, a dry fit, and I liked the top, had that little thing, but. Oh, I don't like those. It's like a turtleneck, basically. Yes, but oh. honestly, like it's. You're talking about hoods. That, that's that kind of stuff feels like somebody's choking you. It was like in, a, in brand new condition, so I'm like, you know what? Someone out there likes it, though. That's for one spot child. Okay. This. Oh, yeah. Psycho Bunny. Psycho Bunny. It's a size large, 14, 16, which I feel like that means it's a kid size, but like, I didn't know they made kid stuff. Check this out. My Goodwill wanted $10.99. That's you why I did that. You can pay that at like Marshall's. Right? It's crazy. So. Because I see that there a lot. I need to stop picking this brand up. It'll eventually sell, but I have a hard time moving it, but it was new with Tags UMG. They make really cute stuff, and this is a 1X, so I'm hoping that will help it. I've got several UMG pieces right now. Um, oh, this is just a bathing suit bottom for my daughter. This like, is interesting. How cute is this? That's just to keep. Okay, I didn't. I did not on purpose save this. No, I, I didn't pull anything out of the bag. So this might for be you. my this favorite. Is random. My favorite. I don't know money wise, but like my favorite actual just favorite. Just so unique piece. I saw this sticking out from the depths. I'm like, oh, yep. it's 101 Dalmatians and it looks super old. Like, I bet that's vintage. You guys, I put this in my story on Instagram and someone was like, I'll buy it. <laughs> but how cute, that's the back. Oh my yeah. gosh. Like, this is amazing. So check out the tag. It is from 1992. I would say, I, I was like, I was thinking late 80s, early 90s. It's a size 4T, yep, 1992. So 92. I would have been okay. seven. So like, but I was tiny like my kids. I probably could have fit this. This Molly could have been my. Right so now. Wait, wear to hip -hop I'm going to let yes, I'm going to let my almost eight year old class. wear this at least once because I have to get pictures in it. Yeah. And I don't. I haven't looked up comps, but 
she's the one I can trust to wear things. You guys, cold next Tuesday. then like an, a bin later. Oh, you didn't find it together? Nope. Yes, ma'am. I found the pants. I cannot even. Yeah, next week, it's still cool too, so she can wear it. On hip hop night. Hip hop night with some. With so I, yeah, I don't know what, the, what this was from. This it just got stuck. You, it, you didn't have any bathing suit. That's a bathing suit. I did. Strap. Yeah, I have that miracle suit, but that did not. I don't no. think that goes to that. No, no, anyway, y'all, like all the stretch is good. That's yeah. amazing. The stretch so, is yeah, good. The elastic is in shot. There's no stains. I don't like. I don't. I thought there was a couple stains on that, but y'all. It just looks old. But that's. This is gonna be the cool. the thumbnail. Yeah. This is amazing right oh my gosh that was, a, that was a fun find yes so that was my day at the bins it did it was not supposed to be a bins day thank you thank you goodwill for being really crappy and overpricing everything which then sent me to the bins because that absolutely was not how the day and was thanks gonna to go. my hubby saying stay yes because i would not have found i'll get the kids from school yes yeah i'll go take them to piano. all right so I might be saving this video on my phone for a while, but we will see. I'm going to start my spreadsheet. Oh, you will see me in one more second because I'm going to come back and let you know how many pieces and exactly. I haven't seen my receipt. Um, I what I spent either. and I only got two things this trip for my once upon a child bin. So that's going to take quite some time, but I'm very picky. I'm buying stuff that I know they're going to buy, not anything with washware or whatever. So, all right, I'll be right back. All right. So we got a total of 58 items. We. I did and came in our house and did that true. we got it and you're gonna help get the money because you're gonna help me with all the things okay one dollar and 25 cents per piece which means um we did count this as two separate pieces so two dollars and fifty cents will be my cost of goods into that which is amazing even with all those shoes this is why I like to pick up kid stuff also I did not count those two pieces but you know these gloves and all of that this definitely helped knock that cost of goods down a little bit. So not my cheapest haul, but I got a lot of jackets and a lot of shoes. So I'm so, yeah, I'm thrilled. A dollar twenty five and I thought I scored spending five thirty four for one pair of shoes. So you know what? On rare occasions this year I will be going to the actual thrift stores, but honestly I don't see a reason why. Thank you if you made it all the way to the end. Um I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.